Hi, I'm Richard Hilton and these are today's stories. Police have arrested two men in connection with illegal money lending and money laundering. The illegal money lending team and trading standards worked with officers to execute warrants at two homes in Widnes. Two suspects are being questioned by detectives following yesterday's operation. Chester FC's future as a full-time club and questions over Marcus Bignett's sacking dominated a meeting of City Fans United last night. The board told supporters they've been advised to remain full-time next season despite relegation. A number of fans questioned the financial sustainability of such a move. The board refused to say why they sacked Marcus Bignett, but apologised for the manner in which they did so. Meanwhile, five men have been sentenced for their part in a fight between Chester and Wrexham fans before the cross-border derby last November. 28-year-old Daniel John Jones of Cliveden Road in Chester was handed the biggest sentence of six months in prison. The rest were handed six-month curfews and three-year football banning orders. The government is looking at the possibility of banning plastic straws, stirrers and cotton buds in England. They'll begin a consultation later this year in a bid to cut the amount of waste ending up in our waterways and oceans. The Prime Minister has said the issue is one of the greatest environmental challenges facing the world. And Dale Winton has died at the age of 62. He's probably best remembered for hosting Supermarket Sweep on ITV. The popular TV and radio presenter fronted the show for seven years during the 90s. That's all for now. It's more on your radio. Goodbye.